Are you wondering how to create a pie chart in a Smartsheet dashboard? Perhaps something just like this. Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do step by step. And perhaps more importantly, I'll be sharing some tips and suggestions along the way that will help set yourself up and your dashboards for success long-term. So as you can see here, I have loaded up a project dashboard. Now, if you're on this video, it may very well be the case that you're struggling to establish the pie chart to begin with. Now, when it comes to adding a pie chart, the process is as follows, but don't worry, we will we'll refer back to this uh, as the video goes on. So to edit a dashboard, you click this little pencil icon, which is edit dashboard, and then you press add widgets. You then select chart, and at this point, you need to add a data source. So you press add data. So I have already selected where the data is being held. I want to include information in the pie chart from this data sheet. So as an example, if I wanted to do that, maybe get an overview of the health and the status, you know, you might select that cell range and press OK. But the problem is, it will say something like selected data cannot be charted. I assume if you're on this video, you're getting something like that. So we need to rectify that issue. And I'll now be showing you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off. Now, in a separate tab, I opened up a project files folder, which is held in a separate workspace. Now, this folder contains all of the documentation for this particular dashboard and project. It's also got the task sheet, which I just showed you in that previous pie chart example. OK, so what I want to do, as I've said throughout this video, is have a summary of the health and a summary of the status. This is what I want to display in the pie chart, separate pie charts for these. So what you're going to need to do to be able to display it on a project dashboard is you're going to need to do some analysis and use some formulas to basically prepare the data so that it is ready for the dashboard. Because as you've seen so far, and as you likely have experienced and encountered, you can't do it straight from the, the source sheet. So find the suitable location, right click, grid. What we're going to call this is metrics sheet or we can call it something like analysis sheet, something like that. Essentially, this is only going to be used to run some analysis. So what I like to do is call, call the primary column formula, and then we could call this something like results, output. You can leave this, it doesn't really matter, but it just helps to give somebody who's looking at this uh, an overview of what this you know is, is contained in each column. So as I say, I want the count of the rag, or the health, I should say. And I also want the count of the statuses. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bold this out. This is gonna be a header, and this is gonna be a header. And I'm gonna make this, uh, let's just differentiate it, and you'll see why I wanna do it in a minute. Now we have green, yellow, and red. Now I want to remove, I'm gonna remove that formatting. So let's do the format painter of that. And I'm also going to indent so that they roll up, so that we can collapse. If you've got a lot of KPIs or a lot of pie charts you need to create, this can be really handy. That's why I've done that. And in terms of the statuses, if I go back to our source sheet, we've got in progress, we've got not started, in progress and complete. So I'll start in reverse here, in progress, not started and complete. Again, I don't want that formatting here, so I'm just gonna select this cell that doesn't have the formatting, format painter, and we're gonna remove that out. Again, I'm gonna indent that underneath. Okay, so now we need to run our formulas. So equals count if, open bracket, the range. At this point, we need to reference another sheet. So click this button here. We need to go back to that source sheet. So select task sheet and just wait for that to load. Shouldn't be too long. I say that. But here we go. So this is the health. So what you need to do at this point is select the health column. So left click on this column. Now change the sheet reference name to health. Just call it health for now, okay? And press insert reference. So select that column, change this to the name of the column if you like, and then press insert reference. So count if health, comma, and then select green. So you saw that it said calculating. And as you can see here, if I drag this down, so right click and then hover over the bottom right of the cell and drag down, 
it is now doing that summary essentially for each one. So it's counting the number of greens, number of yellows, and number of red. Okay, so now we just need to do the same for the statuses. So equals count if. So you'll need to do this for all of the KPIs or metrics that you want to include in your pie charts. You need to run this analysis essentially. So reference another sheet. Let's go through the process again actually, because then you can make sure you've got it. Equals count if, open bracket, reference another sheet. Again in here, left click on your mouse, change the sheet reference name to let's call this status, then go down to the bottom here, insert reference, comma, the criterion is in progress, it's given us three, hover over there, right click and drag down. Now hit save, okay? So now we've got the count of health and the count of statuses in this metrics analysis sheet. Now this is a sheet that you can use for any KPI that you want to document on your dashboard, you can refer back to this at any point. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to the project dashboard and I need to, I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this off and I'm going to refresh just so that all of the, because I'm working in different tabs, you know, we are working from the latest version, if you like, of the, of, of, of our account, if you like. So let's just wait for this to load. Hopefully it won't be too long. And then what we're going to do is go through that process again. Remember the process I showed you at the start. So edit dashboard, add widgets. We're going to click on chart again, add data, but this time, instead of going to the task sheet, which we tried to do before, which is loading, I'm not going to wait for that to load. I'm just going to choose the metric sheet you said. We will be going to the metric sheet, the analysis sheet that we've just created, which I've just shown you that process. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to select all of this. Okay. Count of health, green. Actually, no, let's just do that. Let's just do from green all the way down there. So I've selected all of this. Okay. And you'll notice we now have a pie chart. At which point we just need to go through the full setup. So what columns are included? All columns. We want that. The chart type, we're going to have pie. You could change it to a donut. So obviously it depends on how you want it to aesthetically look, but we'll go for pie for now because that is the title of this video. You weren't searching for a, uh, how to create a donut in Smartsheet. You were looking for a pie. In terms of title, we could call this something like um, task health status. So give it something descriptive, something that makes sense. Of course, you can change the styling here, depending on your needs. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, make it pop a little bit more, make this really clear what this is. You can also change the background if you wanted to, something maybe in your brand colors or your organization's colors, something like that. You can change the text color as well. You can really make it pop. So it's completely up to you what you want to do there. Something like that, you get the idea. In terms of the pie chart and series, you can display as a semicircle if you wanted to. You can also change how the uh, labels, the, the value labels appear. We want it as a percentage, but you could have it as an amount as well. Depends on what you want to see, essentially. And then you just, yeah, you continue going through this process. So we've done this. That was the first thing we did. We did the title. We've done the chart and series. The legend, we can change that to be at the top. We can have that at the bottom. We can have that on the left or the right. By default, it is on the right. That looks quite good. Or, or another thing you can do is just no legend at all. And if you ho hover over it, you can see it. So it's completely up to you and what, you, what you'd like to see there. And in terms of the widget behavior, what you can do here is you can open the data source. So if I selected this option, if someone were to click on the pie chart, it would take us over to the metric sheet. So that can be really handy. Depends who you want to see the metric sheet. You may want to lock it down. Uh, it's completely up to you. You can open another site. So this could be any URL that you want it to be. So that could be an internal hub site if you like, or it could be a smart sheet item. So an example of that, you could link through to say the task sheet. That would make sense. So I'm going to do that for now. So open a smart sheet item. We just need to find the initial source sheet. Press OK. So that is how to create a pie chart in a smart sheet dashboard. You have to have this sheet in between to summarize information you have in a grid. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. I should have said that I've done this for the health. I just need to replicate this process for the statuses. I haven't mentioned that so far. So I hope this video is useful. As I say, any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. I do have a range of training courses, one specifically on dashboards. So if you are interested in learning more and really kind of mastering Smartsheet, there will be a link in the description below for you to get access to those courses. With that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.